He is known for being a prominent figure in the French Enlightenment. He is recognized for his contributions in the dissemination of Protestant and German thought. He is Baron D. Holbach. In the heart of the Enlightenment era, a philosopher emerged whose radical ideas challenged the very foundations of society. His name was Baron D. Holbach, a man who defied convention and fearlessly spoke his mind. Born Paul Heinrich Dietrich in Aachen, near Landau in the Rhenish Palatinate, D. Holbach would go on to become a prominent figure in the French Enlightenment. But it was in Paris where D. Holbach truly found his place in the intellectual circles of the time. He opened his doors to thinkers and scholars, hosting a salon that became a hub of intellectual exchange. Here, ideas were debated, challenged, and refined. It was in this vibrant atmosphere that D. Holbach helped disseminate Protestant and especially German thought, particularly in the realm of the sciences. However, it was D. Holbach's atheism and his relentless attacks on religion that made him infamous. His writings, most notably, The System of Nature, and The Universal Morality, shook the foundations of religious belief. He fearlessly challenged the existence of God and argued for a naturalistic worldview. For D. Holbach, reason and evidence were the guiding principles of life, and he saw religion as a tool of oppression and ignorance. As the protagonist of his own narrative, Baron D. Holbach's philosophical concepts centered around atheism and the promotion of reason. He believed that religion was a man-made construct that hindered human progress and perpetuated ignorance. His writings sought to dismantle religious dogma and promote a rational understanding of the natural world. Through his salon and voluminous writings, D. Holbach left an indelible mark on the French Enlightenment, forever shaping the course of philosophical thought. Baron D. Holbach, known for his philosophical insights and his staunch atheism, lived a life of wealth and intellectual pursuits. Born on an unknown date in 1723 and baptized on December 8, his exact birthday remains a mystery. His father, Johann Jacob Dietrich, was a wine grower, while his mother, Catherine Jacobina, came from a family of means, being the daughter of Johannes Jacobus Holbach. Raised in Paris by his wealthy uncle Franz Adam Holbach, D. Holbach enjoyed a privileged upbringing. His uncle, who had made a fortune through stock trading, provided him with financial support. In 1744, D. Holbach embarked on his academic journey, attending Leiden University until 1748. It was during his time there that he developed a friendship with the notable John Wilkes. In 1750, D. Holbach married his second cousin, Basile Genevieve d'Aime. The couple had a son, François Nicolas, in 1753. Tragedy struck when D. Holbach's wife passed away from an unknown illness. Distraught, he temporarily retreated to the provinces with his friend Baron Grimm. Seeking solace, he obtained a dispensation from the Pope to marry his deceased wife's sister, Charlotte Suzanne d'Aime. Together, they had a son named Charles Marius and two daughters, Amélie Suzanne and Louise Pauline. Despite personal losses, D. Holbach remained financially secure throughout his life. During the summer months, he sought refuge from the heat of Paris at his country estate, Le Château de Grandval, in Grandval. It was there that he would invite friends, including the renowned Denis Diderot, to join him for short stays. A yearly tradition was attending an Anglican chapel service at the opening of the English embassy, led by Lawrence Stern. Known for his generosity, D. Holbach often provided discreet and anonymous financial support to his friends, including Diderot. Interestingly, it is believed that the virtuous atheist character Woolmer in Jean-Jacques Rousseau's Julie, O.U. La Nouvelle Héloïse was inspired by D. Holbach himself. Tragically, D. Holbach's life came to an end on January 21, 1789, just months before the outbreak of the French Revolution. Despite his vehement anti-religious views, he was buried in the Church of Saint-Roch in Paris, though the exact location of his grave remains unknown. It was only in the early 19th century that the true authorship of his various anti-religious works became widely known, solidifying his place as a significant figure in philosophy. Dahlbach's life and philosophy continue to resonate today, offering us insight into the challenges of grappling with religion, meaning, and morality. His unwavering commitment to reason and atheism reminds us to question and critically examine our beliefs. By embracing a philosophy grounded in evidence and rationality, we can navigate the complexities of life and forge our own paths, free from dogma and superstition. In the bustling streets of 18th century Paris, a gathering of some of the greatest minds of the time took place in Baron D. Holbach's salon. This opulent space served as a meeting place for intellectuals and philosophers, providing a platform for deep discussions and intellectual exchange. Dahlbach's salon was like no other, drawing in notable figures from across Europe, including the likes of Adam Smith, David Hume, and Benjamin Franklin. Twice a week, on Sundays and Thursdays, Dahlbach's salon came alive with vibrant conversations that delved into a wide range of topics. 
The atmosphere was elevated, the discussions highbrow, and the participants hungry for knowledge. Surrounded by the finest food, exquisite wines, and a library filled with over 3,000 volumes, the salon became a hub of intellectual activity. One particular story from the salon stands out, involving the renowned David Hume. In a spirited debate, Hume questioned the existence of atheists, wondering if they truly existed. It was then that Dahlbach, with his characteristic wit and wisdom, clarified the situation. He pointed out that Hume himself was sitting at a table surrounded by 17 atheists, highlighting the diversity of beliefs and perspectives present in the salon. Dahlbach's salon was not just a gathering of minds, it was a place where ideas were challenged, beliefs were examined, and knowledge was expanded. The discussions went beyond the ordinary, tackling profound philosophical questions and exploring the nature of existence, morality, and divinity. The salon provided a space for intellectual growth, where ideas were born, refined, and shared with the world. In his quest to challenge traditional beliefs and promote scientific knowledge, Baron D. Hallback took on the monumental task of contributing to the encyclopedia. As a German who had embraced his French identity, he dedicated himself to translating numerous contemporary German works on natural philosophy into French. From 1751 to 1765, D. Hallback's intellectual prowess shone through as he penned approximately 400 articles for the project, primarily focusing on scientific topics. Dahlbach's contributions went beyond mere translation. He also took on the role of an editor for several volumes on natural philosophy, showcasing his deep understanding of the subject matter. His dedication to disseminating scientific knowledge was evident in his meticulous approach to presenting complex ideas in a more accessible manner. Through his articles, D. Hallback aimed to bridge the gap between academia and the general public, making scientific concepts more comprehensible to a wider audience. However, D. Hallback's involvement in the encyclopedia was not limited to scientific discourse. It is believed that he may have written critical entries on non-Christian religions, using them as a subtle critique of Christianity itself. This suggests that D. Hallback sought to challenge religious dogma and promote a more rational and scientific worldview. Today, D. Hallback's contributions to the encyclopedia serve as a reminder of the importance of knowledge and the power of intellectual curiosity. His dedication to translating and writing articles on a wide range of subjects demonstrates the value of multidisciplinary learning and the pursuit of truth. By promoting scientific knowledge and challenging established beliefs, D. Hallback's philosophy continues to inspire us to question, explore, and seek a deeper understanding of the world around us. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.